We just got born again. I have an Orthodox background. You know, Methodist was how we're brought up. So in that church, growing up, you didn't have a lot of demonstrations of the Spirit. So when I came in, I got born again. I came in amongst what you call Pentecostals. I saw, I, I got feel the Holy Spirit. I knew it was real. But I saw something. There were people that were more interested in the sensationalism than the substance. You know? They, I mean, if, 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 if the Holy Spirit was to touch them, Shout, 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 everything. Say, hold on. So what did he say to you? Uh, I just felt cold. He's, he did cold, he cold, he felt ice block. Oh, it was hot, my hand was hot, hot, hot. The reason is, it's like the Holy Spirit just comes to you and he, he just walks close to you. Then you are shaking, shaking. He wants to talk to you. But he, ah! he says, come, come on. Yeah! 30 minutes, he's trying to talk to you. Because this is another attribute of children. Spiritual children are moved by excitement. They mistake excitement for substance. Write it. They mistake excitement for substance. You know, they mistake. Uh, you know, every spiritual encounter I have, what I'm, what I'm always excited about is what God says to me his word you know for some people if, if God gave them the burning bush experience let me tell you what they'll do they see the burning bush ah, yeah, yeah! fire 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 hey, the leaf is not burning fire the leaf is not burning fire they'll be jumping around jumping around after me they say what happened hey what I saw today that's what they'll be saying what I saw today but the burning bush experience was not what God came for. The fire, the, the bush that was burning and the leaves not consumed, is not what God came for. He came with a message. His voice from the bush is more important than the burning bush. Who understands what I mean by that? That's why some people now, Pastor Chris has removed the burning bush from their praise and worship suddenly they cannot they can't take it they can't take it because all the while all the while they were not interested in what god is saying they were interested in the in the fire they were interested in it say my god today prison worship was amazing how is it amazing come and see the dance when i finish dancing like this so what did god really say to you even the song they were singing, you know, you can be in the choir and you're singing a song and you were dancing, but what you were dancing was not even the lyrics of the song or the meaning of it, it's the beat that was moving you, you know, it was the beat that was moving you and, you know, you just go that way. Later, it, it's later, how many of you, how many of you, as you grew in Christ and you got more mature in Christ, you now remember some old songs and you're not looking at the words and say, ah, hold on, these words, this, there's so much meaning here. Who understands what I'm saying? There's so much meaning here, and I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Even nursery rhymes, even things as simple as nursery rhymes. The day is bright, is bright and fair. Oh, happy. When you were singing it, you know where you were singing? Hey, the day is bright, is bright and fair. Oh, happy day. The day of joy. The day is bright, is bright and fair. Oh, happy day of joy. My Marcello friends. <laughs> You know, do, do you know, thinking about it, eh? thinking about it, some people sang that song. They sang that song only waiting for that part. They will sing, 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 everything they are singing, they are not waiting. They are just waiting. For... Mama, you love rice. As soon as you get to Mama, you love rice, they are awake. They are awake. Who understands what I'm saying? Excitement. Do you know this is why for many, many preachers in many churches, um, they, they, a lot of people were shocked at the man of God, Pastor Chris. They were shocked that a man of God, Pastor Chris, will call a crusade. And you will have those days, those many, many years ago, you have tens of thousands of people, tens of thousands of people, and Pastor Chris will open the scriptures and start teaching. Start teaching. And be talking calmly. 
preachers thought bad plan because all they knew is that as soon as you start teaching people start sleeping because the preacher himself need to put dramatics I tell you something God is good and the preacher has to put dramatics to entertain the flesh to keep you awake because you're mentally dull spiritually dull if it's not exciting the, the, I mean preachers have become drama actors you know just to keep people in church entertained so that they can now hear it but praise God for Pastor Chris I mean and it was amazing because they were surprised man of God would take one hour and he would teach and when he's done teaching he starts praying for the sick and people are getting healed people are getting healed because people never even thought that in crusades you teach in crusades you have to preach you have to preach you have to just announce and declare and just shout shout at the highest top of your voice you know because what you had there was a bunch of nephews have you seen a parent do all kinds of things to to make a child eat Vroom, 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 vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom. You know, so that's what pastors were doing in churches. Because you had a you had a, a bunch of nephews everywhere. You know? I saw you know when you, I saw one, I mean they showed the child, they showed the child this wonderful juice they got this pack they put it inside then the child was ready they put it as the child was about to suck they just put it put the drug just remove the remove the what do you call the straw and just move the straw to the drug and just, and just drank everything drank the drug thinking that <laughs> thinking they were taking the juice thinking they were taking you, you read the scriptures it says it shows you again it says the child the nephews he likes milk he likes milk it's like what pastor chris would teach about songs sometimes people are so attached to a song sentimentally so attached to it sentimentally like don't touch my song don't touch my song don't touch it even when a man of god shows you the scriptures he says no no i will keep crowning him crown him you know because nephews, the, the issue here is this. This your childishness is keeping you away from your inheritance. 